Hello students, today we are going to discuss about quantum numbers, okay? What are the quantum numbers? What information we can get from the quantum numbers that we will discuss today, okay? So before going to the topic, subscribe my channel and press bell icon. So let us discuss what is meant by quantum numbers, okay? So quantum numbers is a topic by this we can able to know the position of an electron in an atom that is we can able to find the electron where the electron is there we can find the electron in an atom like suppose uh, we people are there right so we are living in a colony or we are living in a place how can we say the address we'll say like first area we'll say then we'll say the road number then we'll say the house number yes or no so like that we are having the address right in the same way electrons are also having some address nothing but the quantum numbers are the address of the electrons quantum numbers are the addresses of the electrons how to find the address that we able to know this right so let us discuss quantum numbers so there we are having the four types of quantum numbers we are having four types of quantum numbers so in the first one principal quantum number principal principal quantum number okay it is not principal it is principal quantum number okay right so who proposed this this was proposed by a fellow called bohr bohr has been proposed the theory uh, sorry quantum number bohr proposed this quantum number right and it is denoted by a symbol called n it is denoted by a symbol n okay and the n values the n values are like natural numbers from starts from 1 2 3 like that so on up to n numbers right and this principal quantum number it is giving the information about orbit it is giving the information about orbit as we know that what is orbit so orbit is a particular place or a pathway around the nucleus where the electron revolves i'm telling you again orbit is a pathway orbit is a pathway where the electron is revolving right so that is orbit right and what information it is giving about the orbit that is orbit size orbit size orbit energy orbit energy and orbit number and orbit number okay so that principal quantum number is giving the information about the orbit size energy and number of the orbit what information it gives right so as the number increases as the number increases what we said here numbers are starts from 1 2 3 so on right so that is suppose first orbit is there if you go to second orbit what happens number increases yes or no number increases number increases automatically energy also increases so size increases energy also increases right so again size increases energy also increases that is number increases size increases so that energy also increases so that is what principal quantum number it is giving the information about orbit giving the information about orbit right? so let us discuss further second one we are having angular momentum quantum number angular momentum angular momentum quantum number this we can also say it as azimuthal quantum number azimuthal quantum number or subsidiary quantum number also we can call it as okay and this angular momentum quantum number it is proposed by it is proposed by a fellow called somerfield a fellow called somerfield somerfield has proposed this angular momentum quantum number right and it is denoted by a symbol l proposed it is denoted by a symbol l it is denoted by a symbol l and the l values and the l values the l values are n minus 1 l values are n minus 1 that means here n starts from 1 onwards right so l value starts from 0 1 2 so on up to here n values up to n so here l values up to n minus 1 n minus 1 okay and the angular momentum quantum number what information it is giving to us it is giving the information about 
it is giving the information about orbital it giving the information about orbital orbital information it gives so principal quantum number giving the information about orbit orbit here it is giving the information about orbital angular momentum quantum number gives the information about orbital remember carefully orbital okay so here what we are saying here it is giving the information orbital no? so how the information will be there means so we are till now we are having only 0 1 2 3 till now we are using these orbitals only why because in the ground state we can fill up to the three numbers right so that we can represent with a s p d e f that is the orbitals names we are giving like s p d e f how and how the orbitals are there that we will discuss further just to remember now the orbitals the numbers are uh, start from 0 1 2 3 the values are 0 1 2 3 and the orbitals are what s p d and f okay further if you go to g like it is going in like that okay and here right principal quantum number giving the information about orbit angular momentum giving the information about orbital orbital right and we need to remember some things like here how many electrons are there or how many orbitals are there as already we know suppose uh, you are already i told you at uh, starting of the video in a colony right so, suppose in a city there are some colonies are there in the colonies right so suppose in a city there are colonies yes or no in the colonies again some uh, small uh, places are there right right in that what are there road numbers are there generally we write address no road numbers again in that house numbers right so like in the houses again there will be 1 bhk 2 bhk 3 bhk that means it is a place for some limited 1 bhk means only some members will be there 2 bhk means that means what limited space will be there no that can define no? in the same way we can also define like atom is there atom okay so in the atom what are there orbits are there orbits are there and in the orbits in the orbits orbitals are there orbitals are there again in the orbitals sub orbitals are there okay again in the sub orbitals electrons will be there like in houses how the people will be there in the same way in the sub orbitals electrons will be there right so that is what how the electrons are there in the atoms we can say like this simply right but we need to give the address by this way that we will discuss okay so that is angular momentum giving the information about orbital okay right so s orbital p orbital d orbital and f orbital that shapes we will discuss okay so let us discuss one more quantum number that is magnetic quantum number magnetic quantum number okay so magnetic quantum number what do you mean by magnetic quantum number and uh, how it is giving the information about right Right. magnetic quantum number it was proposed by a fellow called lande lande right and uh, it is denoted by a symbol m m right this magnetic quantum number it is giving the information about sub orbitals sub orbitals okay as principal quantum number giving the information about orbit angular momentum giving the information about orbital magnetic giving the about suborbital right how the suborbitals are there we will discuss how many number of suborbitals are there okay right and these suborbitals these values will be like m is equals to 2l plus 1 m is equals to 2l plus 1 okay so the values m values depends on l why because you need to get the l here and l values are depends upon the n so we need to depends upon the principal quantum number okay so that what we saying magnetic quantum number giving the information about suborbitals that is suborbitals are depending upon the orbitals orbitals depending upon the orbits like right suborbitals depends upon the orbitals orbitals depends upon the orbits right so in that way we can say it and the values are what here m is equals to 2l plus 1 and the values the whatever the values after uh, calculating that we need to write in the form of minus values minus values 
and 0 and plus values minus values 0 and plus values okay so anything you can take you can take x like uh, y any number you can take but we are writing the numbers over there right so how we will write we will discuss okay so that is what magnetic quantum number and we will count it now first how it will be there we will say it right if suppose if suppose we will take n l and uh, m values l values are what n minus 1 m values are what 2l plus 1 2l plus 1 and uh, here sour order said no right right if n value if n value is 1 if n value is 1 l value becomes n minus 1 n minus 1 means 1 minus 1 it will be 0 0 means which orbital here 0 means it is s orbital right s orbital s orbital present in the which orbit first orbit so s orbital present in the first orbit so one is i am writing here okay right we will write m values m values depends upon l 2l plus 1 l value is what here 0 that means 2 into 0 2 into 0 plus 1 2 into 0 0 0 plus 1 1 we will get 1 only one value we should write remember here we are writing here 1 means we are writing the one value one suborbital value we are writing that means m value m giving the information about the suborbitals we are writing one suborbital here that suborbital i am writing like zero remember carefully we are writing the one quantity we are writing what we are getting here quantity how many quantities are there one quantity what is the quantity zero okay right let us write again two l value becomes n minus one that means two minus one that means we will get one two minus one means we will get one no this one we should write like up to one up to one up to one means what zero one is there no that we can write like a, that you can write like a zero and a one one we should write like, up to one we should write zero one what is the zero here yes what is zero yes yes what is one p right? This S is present in which orbit? Second orbit. So 2S. P present in second orbit. So 2P. Again, we will write here M values for 0 I am writing. For 0 and for 1 I am writing. Okay. 2 into 0 plus 1, we will get 1. Again, one value we should write. That is one quantity we should write. I am writing here 0. And 2 into 1 plus 1. Here 1 we got no. That one we are uh, we are placing here. We will get 3. Now we should write three quantities. We should write. We are we are getting three three quantities. That means three suborbitals are there in p orbital. Three suborbitals are there. Uh, remember carefully in p orbital three suborbitals. In s orbital one suborbital. One suborbital we are getting. In s orbital one suborbital we are getting. Why? Because m values are the suborbital values, right? So here three suborbitals. That I am writing like minus one zero plus one. Three suborbitals are there. Okay. So, I am writing like minus 1, 0, plus 1. As I represent, you know, minus L, 0, plus L, right? No, so minus 1, 0, plus 1, right? Suppose we will take here n value 3. Here it will be, here what happens here? 3 minus 1, it becomes 2. That means we need to write up to 2, like 0, 1, 2. So, what we will get here? 0 means, 0 means S orbital, 1 means P, 2 means D. They all are present in the third orbit. So, 3s, 3p, 3d. Okay. And why? Again, we will write here m values. For 0, 3 into 0 plus 1, we will get 1. Again, one quantity we should write. Only 0. And 3p, 3 into 1 plus 1. 3, 3 is a 3 into 1, 3, 3 plus 1, 4. One minute. Sorry, here I am writing 2 only. Okay. We will write here 2 it is. Okay. So 2 into 1 and 2 into 1. Okay. 2 into 1 plus 1. That is 3 we will get. 3 values we should write. Minus 1, 0, plus 1 we should write. Right. And again here 2 into uh, 2 plus 1. We will get 5. That we will write as minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1 and uh, plus 2. Okay, see these five values we should write. That means in a d orbital, five suborbitals are there. In a p orbital, three suborbitals are there. In 
uh, SR total, one sub R total is there. These values, 1, 1, 3, again 1, 3, 5 we are getting now. These are the M. M means what? Sub orbitals. The sub orbitals are present in the orbitals. See this? First orbital, that is S orbital is there. S orbital, one sub orbital. Here P, three sub orbitals. D, five sub orbitals. Okay? Right. Now we need to remember some things like in each sub orbital, in each sub orbital, there is maximum two electrons can be placed. There is maximum two electrons can be placed. Like as in a house, suppose in a house, in a one room is there. In that room, only two members can be sleep. That means there is only chance for two members, no? Same way, here in suborbitals, in one suborbital, there is only chance for two electrons. There is only space for the two electrons. One can exist, two can also exist, but three cannot be. Right? So that is maximum two electrons can be placed in a suborbital. Right? Right. And next thing we need to remember that number of electrons. Number of electrons, right? In a orbit in a orbit how many orbitals will be there like we discussed here in the orbits orbitals will be saying uh, will be there we discuss you know, how many orbitals are there in a orbit that is n square n square and uh, here i'm writing it as orbitals in orbit and next uh, electrons in a orbit right so electrons how many electrons will be there that is 2n square electrons will be there. Simple thing remember here. Once you see it carefully. Here in first orbit. First orbit no? Right. In first orbit. How many orbitals are there? How many orbitals? n square. You make it 1 square. This is 1 square means what? 1. How many are there? Only 1 orbital is there. Second orbit you take. Second orbit. How many orbitals will be there in the second orbit? n square. 2 square means 4. You see this? Here 1 and 3, right? So 1 and 3, totally 4. Yes or no? Right. Next third, 3 square. 3 square means 9. You count here. 1 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 5, 9. 9 suborbitals, right? Now again, uh, first orbital means 1 square. 1 square means only 1 is there, right? And now that is what orbitals. These are the orbitals. How many number of electrons will be there? In each orbit means... 2n square in first orbit 2n square that means 2n square n square means what 1 2 into 1 2 that is in first orbital there can be two electrons only can be placed in there in second orbit 2n square 2 square 2 into 2 square that means 8 electrons see this totally four suborbitals are there i already told you in each suborbital there is only place for two electrons totally four suborbitals are there 4 to the 8 electrons 8 electrons can be placed in that. In third, 5 plus 3, 8, 8 plus 1, 9. 9 suborbitals are there. 9 suborbitals means each suborbital can hold 2 electrons. Totally 9 suborbitals. Right? So 9 to the 18 electrons will be there in that. Right? So that is what principal quantum number, angular momentum quantum number, and magnetic quantum number. Right? And one more quantum number also will be there that I am writing here spin quantum number spin quantum number one more is there that is third one fourth one that is spin quantum number it is proposed by Ullenbeck it is proposed by Ullenbeck proposed by Ullenbeck and is denoted by yes yes simply what information it is giving why because already orbits are over orbitals are over, suborbitals are over, electrons also filled in that. Then what is the use of this spin quantum number? In the name itself there, spin, spin means what? Orientation. Spin means orientation. That is how the electron is orienting. As we discussed, right? Electrons are revolving around the nucleus, we discussed, right? So how the electron is revolving? If the electron is revolving in a clockwise direction, if the electron revolving in a clockwise direction, clockwise direction, it can represent with a plus half a symbol like plus half if the electron is revolving in a anti clockwise it can represent with a minus half minus half clockwise revolves that is orientation if the electron orients in the clockwise direction plus half if the electron revolves in anti clockwise direction minus half simple thing that is quantum number proposed by Ullenbeck and one more fellow also is there Goldsmith 
so they are probably the spin quantum number denoted by s if the electron orients in a clockwise direction it is represents with the plus of if the electron orients in a anti clockwise direction it will be represents with minus half okay? so these are the quantum numbers regarding the how to find the electron and how to mention the address of the electron right now by using these quantum numbers we will write the electronic configurations right remember here we are discussed about or orbits orbitals suborbitals electrons and the electrons how they revolves we discuss it. now we need to write how they can be filled in the orbits how they can be filled in the orbitals right directly they are coming to third orbit or directly they are coming to first orbit how they are coming whether they are pairing or whether they are, whether they are singly filling so that things we need to discuss by following some rules we need to fill the electronic configurations right so that we will discuss in the next session okay children